Hello everybody, welcome back to the new save file. Hey, we got the end there, that's pretty cool. Um, for today's episode, first of all, let's just see... By the way, I do need to make one crea creation. Um, I previously said that my demo unlock would be uh, six Devil Deals in one run, but the developer of the mod suggested that I make it um, having to steal one item from a Devil Deal, so basically get it without paying. So I, I think that's a better idea, so we'll go for that. Um, anyways, let's see who, who we don't have unlocked yet. Eve... Uh, not picking up hearts for two levels, uh, beating two levels without taking damage, um, beating the void, um, beating hard mode with Lazarus without losing a life. Have we played much Lazarus yet? Where's Lazarus? We haven't. Okay, let's do Lazarus and let's try and do it without losing a life. That does mean that we cannot abuse his um, his ever-dying effect, which is a bit of a shame because this guy does have a really cool effect. Pheromones off the bat. And we do get the renewed D10. Devolved all enemies in the room. Um, all enemies... So basically, yeah, all enemies get devolved one. Actually pretty interesting. I'm a little curious, though. Isn't it meant to be a two-room charge? I thought it was meant to be a two-room charge now. Didn't do anything in this room. Okay. There's a good chance it's just absolutely broken. Um, oh, God. That was close. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see on that front. I'm guessing it just didn't devolve these enemies because they're modded ones. And I'm going to guess it just doesn't work with modded enemies. But um, I'll keep trying and we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, no. It devolved all of those. It worked on those guys. Okay. It just doesn't work on some enemies, I guess. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a good item. I don't know why it's a one room charge. I thought that when they when they changed they changed it to a to a two room charge. Am I wrong in that? Uh, as for the question of the day today, something Isaac related. What's um? Okay, these guys didn't devolve at all. What's something in Isaac that you would change? Like, what item would you still think needs a buff or even a nerf? What's a, a balance change maybe that you think is uh? It's required that's been long overdue. Um. You little troll. I was like, ooh, a free key. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just going to go like that and take it. I ain't dealing with your shenanigans game. See, it all worked out. It all worked out. It didn't work on these enemies. Going to be a little unclear what it works and what it doesn't. So we're just going to spam it and see when it works and when it doesn't. I'm just going to use it. Oh, my God. That was a good hit. Uh, I'm just going to see when I can use it and when I can't. Okay, that was a very close bomb to not being able to hit the enemy there. I realized I had absolutely no reason to use that bomb there, but I felt I felt it wasn't a bad idea. Uh, I will quickly check secret room here. I am um, I know I do want to try and find boss rush. Eh, actually, no work, no work. If it if it's like pops out to me, it's really obvious, and I'll go for it. But if we're going for boss rush, I try and, I want to try and be a little bit speedier because we have proven that we can make it. It didn't work in this room either, so. I'm suspecting there's some things going on with the, um, we lost our devil deal, damn it. Um, there's some things going on with the devil de- uh, the devil deals, the D10, that are not quite, uh, correct, unfortunately. Um, it's unlikely to, to matter, but I'm gonna do that and see if we can, uh, get the payout from that if we get enough heart drops on the floor, you never know. Um, yeah, like, this didn't do anything there either. I like the amount of mini Isaacs we've got right now, that's, that's a lot of fun. Oh, there is a heart there, but we can't actually get to it. Didn't work on these enemies either. If anyone can give me an inkling as to why the D10 seems to not be functioning as it should be, um, I'd be... Oh, fuck's sake. Not good. The moon. Oh, we got to pick one. I see, I see, I see. Right, get get out from behind there so I don't have to use a bomb, please. I have a feeling the whole point is you're not allowed out from behind there, isn't it? Yeah. Sadly so. Right, we did take Rogue Planet here. Uh, this is an item that I will pretty much always take regardless of how bad it is. It's it, it's not bad, actually. I, do, I, I enjoy it, but it's, it's certainly a, a tricky item to use. It's basically Tiny Planet on Crack. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, so if ever given the opportunity to take it, I almost always will. Oh god. These fat spheres are, uh, creating some nonsense. 
Yeah, this is this is quite an quite an interesting run we got going on here now. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I even want to bother trying to use the D10 now. It, it worked in one room, but so far I'm just trying to see. Oh, I didn't even see that blue fly. Bugger. I'm trying to see if there's any errors producing, but there isn't any errors in the console, so I'm really not sure why it's not working. Um, it must just be some negative interaction going on with something. I have that or there's some mod that changes it that I don't know about and it no longer works the way the description says. I wouldn't expect that to be the case. I'm, I'm still trying it just in case, but I think it's I think it's pretty clear that it's uh, it's Kaputsky. But this this, this is like. One of those items that's just, it's its so dumb, but it's absolutely run-defining. And I really love that. I really love that. These stupid, idiotic, run-defining items that are just so bizarre. They're enjoyable. But, and the good thing about this one as well is it does give you some stat boosts. It does, like, accommodate itself. It isn't just as it is and you're stuck with it. It does accommodate itself somewhat with the stat increases that it gives you. Um, I'm not quite sure if they're uh, fully worth it, but... Stay on the spikes. Dude, dude, how are you avoiding these so so well? There you go. Um, and we get the bell clapper. That's actually pretty good. Um, we're not going to play out that sack room anymore, I don't think. Um, doesn't look like it. Ah, da, 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 da. Nah, 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 nah. Keep it going, keep it going. we gotta, we got to push forward if Boss Rush is uh, in the cards for us at all. It's a little bit of a shame that we can't, we can't play the dying strategy with Lazarus, but... I would like to unlock Bethany. She is a fun character, and she does have some mighty good unlocks. Um, Book of Insanity, Spawn of Nightmare Familiar. These, okay, that's actually pretty good. We'll take that. So yeah, D10. Devolves all enemies. Yeah. yeah. It says that that's what, that's what it should do. Yeah, we get these little nightmare dudes. They'll be pretty helpful. Not super helpful, but they're, they're kind of not great unless you have a lot of them. And it is a four-room charge book, so I don't know if we're going to end up getting a lot of them, but we'll see. We'll try our best. We gotta speed up there. I'll crack both of these open as well for some extra HP. Lovely. And yeah, it's gonna be a little more useful than the D10 that's just not working whatsoever. Also, I don't know why, but I'm really into taking pills right now, and I immediately regretted my actions there in uh, accidentally taking a tears down, but that's what happens when you play the game. You gamble with your life and you cause issues. I'm, uh, at the minute, I'm somewhat reeling from the, the, the tea that I just made. Um, me and my girlfriend just made some sort of, like, chicken wrap sort of burrito-style things. But I took mine to the next level and just made it obscenely hot for no apparent reason. I, I honestly can't really tell you why, um, why I did it. I'll, I'll be honest. I can't, I can't really describe to you why I made it as hot as I did. But... Over Christmas, I got gifted quite a lot of hot sauce because people know I like hot food, so very, very nice. Um, Katie's parents got me some and my parents got me some as well. And the ones that uh, my girlfriend's parents got me were from like a, a sort of market. Oh, hello, Mini Mush. Um, were from sort of a market that does like homemade hot sauces and stuff. So we got some chili jam, which normally I do quite like chili jam, but normally chili jam is like, it's pretty, it's pretty not great like it tastes good but if, you, if you're getting it for heat it's just rubbish it's normally not very hot but this one this one's got a real punch to it um and then also got some naga naga chili tomato ketchup and oh i put both of those on my wrap and um it, it made it it made it quite a hot boy but i have to say the enjoyment of it was thorough even though my eyes were watering a little bit. It seems like we're going to have a really hard time keeping these little nightmare dudes alive. They also seem to get a bit of herming. Ooh, that is nice. Although my damage didn't actually change there, but I assume that's just because the bell clapper was still activated. I think my, my actual damage stat has changed. The bell clapper is good, though, for my, my first few shots doing a bit of extra damage when we enter a room. Gotta say, I like that. I'm really liking the speed that we have right now as well. I'm not really feeling that tears down as well, considering the uh, the rogue planet gave us a tears up. But this is what the hell sort of noise did Lazarus just make there? That was bizarre. Um, definitely uh, one of those items that it's just like it's kind of like the first room where we died on uh, with Isaac. I can't not take it when I see it. It's just such a meme of an item. It's so stupid to take it and expect you to have a good run that I feel like I I just have to. Quickly get rid of those tears. Go for that. Beautiful. A lot of keys. We also have the ability to uh, 
get a shop item when we next come across one we'd like to, to, to grab. So far, we haven't really seen any that are super good. But as you can see, early game, honestly, Rogue Planet does does, does a nice job. Uh, we've only got one bomb here, unfortunately, so that room's not really something we can tango with as of now. Would be something that I would like to go for. Also, today I've been... Uh, no, no, not another tears down. Also, today as well, I've been... Um, I've been watching speedruns randomly, sort of while doing work and stuff. I, I I watched a little bit of a um a little bit of a GTA 5 speedrun. Those are like five and a half hours long, so I'll probably get back to that at another point. Um, but it's because uh, a person called Friendly Baron uh, did a bunch of GTA 5 casual versus speedrunner things and like went over a bunch of speedrun strats for GTA 5. Um, and I, I really enjoyed them, actually. Um, yes, and I guess we'll take a look. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed them, actually. Um, and he basically just stopped uploading due to some speedrunning drama, from what I heard, um, for a really long time. And he only just came back a few months ago. So he's, he's been off the scene for quite a while. Oh, false PhD. We're taking all of the pills right now, and we also unlocked Krampus. Awesome. Um, are you a wizard? Awesome. Right, keep her going. Um, yeah, uh, he, he ended up started uploading again, and um, he did like a strat update thing where basically he went over a bunch of new strats that have developed over the past three years, and honestly, highly recommend their content if you're into GTA 5 or speedrunning at all, either, either one of the two, because, uh, yeah, they're really, really entertaining um, and pretty thoroughly researched. So I, I really enjoyed those. And yeah, I was also watching some Hollow Knight speedrunning. I'm having a really hard time killing these guys. Are these the, the Uber champions from that from that champion that makes other things into champions around it? Because those things those things go hard. But yeah, I, I took False PhD here because we've been getting a lot of pills. And honestly, uh, not a lot of positive ones. So why not just embrace the pain, I guess? And it also just reveal our pills to us too. So we, we know what the pills are going to be. It's not like we're taking them blind. Um, and then dark, uh, dark thingy, whatever it's called, is just, just generally good. People that think that dark matter and, um, and fear in general isn't good. Doofs. Doofuses. Especially dark matter that gives you such a good damage up. Like, fear, it can mess you up in very rare scenarios. But I have to say that the amount of times that I've had fear mess me up, I can probably count on one hand. And I have, like, 2,000 hours in this game. Um, it, it doesn't happen very often at all. Uh, it's, it's, it's a rare occurrence. But some people want to be overly cautious. You watch it, it'll happen to me this run now. Fear will, like, mess me up somewhat, somewhat chronic. But, like, proper memorable moments of it is, 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 is very rare. But as you can see, we're kind of stomping through right now. We're getting through the game pretty easily. But yeah, back to what I was saying, sorry. I've um, been watching some, like, Hollow Knight speedruns and stuff, and they are always entertaining. I think speedrunning in general is just such an entertaining topic. I'm sure many of you that are here have probably watched them and enjoyed them as well. Uh, school bag? I don't think LSD will do anything for us, so I'm just going to donate as much as I can here. Black candle, lovely. And then I might as well grab some more here. I'll keep that for the next floor, just in case. we still got item room and stuff to find this floor. We're, we're pushing through quite quickly here. This is Caves 2. Uh, this guy can... Oh, I was going to let him die. Uh, going to let him, sorry, open up and give us some loot, but... Wasn't so lucky, because I killed him too quickly. Our character is looking like an absolute crack fiend as well right now, which is always enjoyable. That was a, a very bad hit for me. Whoopsie-daisy. Um, cracked Infamy. Cracked Infamy is kind of an interesting item. Um, basically, it's like the chance to uh, proc Glowing Hourglass when you get hit. But if it happens on like a, a long boss fight, or if it happens... Cannot fight... Wait a minute. Cannot fight, proc in any boss fight which grants a mark to a completion. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely then. I didn't realize it. They must have changed it in the uh, the most recent release of the, of, uh, the mod. Because it never used to do that before and it used to annoy the shit out of me. Because you'd, you'd just lose marks to it. Ooh, also a smooth stone here. Fantastic bit of damage, but also on top of that, some extra damage on bosses with low HP. Oh goddamn! Getting hit a bit more than I should be here. But it ain't the kiss of fear. 
Ooh, lovely. Like to see it. I mean, I'll check this out, but. I love this item. I've got to take it. Horror Babylon would be an interesting take here. Just because it's such a big damage up and stuff. But it's so risky if we don't like get a pill or something really soon. I'm going to I'm gonna say no. I, I'd like it, but I don't need it. But um, Ocular Rift here. Pretty good. I know that obviously I don't want to revive. I do have a revive if I need it. But I don't want to revive if possible. Oh, this is incredible with what we've got going on right now. Piercing with the, with this setup is going to be so good. But yeah, if we can manage to keep um, our heart alive, which I almost didn't there. I almost lost it. If we can manage to keep that heart alive, that's going to sustain us for quite some time. Not ex what I expected, but thank you. Lovely little payout there, I guess. Schwashtika room is Schwashtika room. We do have a, a door mimic there, I see. Truly, truly. We actually have two nightmares with us at the minute, which is something I don't think I've seen yet. Managing to gather them up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Justice. justice and justice. justice. I think I'm just going to let them all suck, you know. Let it ride. See what item we get, if it's an item at all. The Eternal D6. Ooh, this is a hard choice. Uh, chance when picking up a coin to drop a mini stat capsule, granting a small uh, random stat up at the current floor. Seems decent. Um, I think I probably want the Eternal D6, you know, and we'll, we'll reroll that and see what we get. Broken Mask, plus one to every synergy. Uh, not synergy, uh, transformation. Considering we have the better transformations mod, that's actually pretty darn good. I always like it in rooms like this where they put the, the stone chests far apart. It's like, you might as well just put them next to each other. Because every single person in their right mind is going to move them. Also, stone chests having their own item pool there. Pretty cool. But yes, hopefully we can get some... Uh, we can get some transformations. Some of the transformations have some very sort of weak or minor changes. Others are pretty cool. Um, like the mom transformation makes it so that um, when you enter a room, there's a 15% chance for a, um, a high priestess foot to stomp on an enemy, which isn't a, a large chance. So it's not like super overpowered, but that sounds like a pretty decent upgrade over what it normally did, to be honest. And yeah, having the uh, Eternal D6 here, which is an item I didn't know we had unlocked. But it must be something that's just unlocked by default. I don't know what, what requires unlocks and what doesn't anymore, I'll be honest. It could just be that something's broken, but I think it's more likely that it is just something that's already unlocked and I didn't know about it. In fact, let's fact check while we're here. Let's do a fact check. Eternal D6. Um, it's an unlockable active item, it says. Unlockable activate, activated item. Um, defeat mother as tainted blue baby. Okay, so what my prediction is here is that the void chest has its own, um, it has its own pool and it can still drop the item regardless of whether it's unlocked or not. So we're going to have times where chests will open into items that we don't have unlocked. Which is a bit weird, but we're going to have to just deal with it. I could disable those mods for now, I guess. But it's not going to stop things like that situation there. Because that's just part of Ipecac. Uh, 30% chance to spawn a random pickup upon killing a champion. I'll go for that. And I'll put the rest of the money in here. Hey, get some luck upgrades for that as well. Wow. Oh, we've almost unlocked, um, we've almost unlocked Zach. Get 10 luck without perfection. We're, we're close to it. We are close to it. That would be pretty cool, right? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now this, this causes some extra weirdness. Ah, no, I don't think I can do this. This is, this is too wacky. This causes some extra weirdness that I cannot account for. It's pretty funny, but I don't think it's the best idea. But yeah, so we are going to be able to get 
items we shouldn't be able to get from time to time via stone chests or um, other modded chests. It kind of just is what it is. It's, it's not a big deal, I don't think. I don't think any of you are going to hunt me to the ends of the earth just because I got an item that I shouldn't have gotten a bit early. I like the noise he makes. It's funny. But yeah, I thought I had to check that then, because I was, I was almost certain it was an unlock. But yeah, that's just because it's a, a custom chest item pool, which is, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything modders can do to prevent that. I don't think there might be a check they can run, but from what I know of, there isn't. But yeah, if we can manage to get four more luck, we unlock Zack. So, pretty good stuff. By the way, if I unlock a character via the unlock methods that I mentioned and don't notice, please remind me, because there, there's going to be times where I completely miss when I've done one of the proposed things that I'm supposed to do to unlock a character and just don't notice. Oh, hello. Oh, it's, it's uh, Green War. I've not seen this guy before. Poison War. It's Famine War. Oh, he turns the whole room green. Now, what, what's the best that my entire run is green now? What's the best that my entire run is now green? I'm saying it's incredibly high. Yep. <laughs> the run is green now. Someone had a good idea that uh, when this happens, I should tint the thumbnail, which I might do. That sounds kind of funny. Because it seems to be happening. Oh no, I lost my, uh, my good heart. I needed that. Aquarius is pretty good here. Yeah, I apologize for anyone that doesn't like green, but it's a it's a nice turtly green, so it's fine. It's gonna be present with us until the end of the run, so get used to it. I, I, I don't know of any way to solve it either. Quitting out and entering the run doesn't fix it. I've tried that before. I'm just trying to get more luck upgrades if I can get them by bombing the donation machine. Also, I'm just trying to fill it with every last penny I possibly can. It was a very bad hit by me there. I just didn't acknowledge that that was an enemy at all. We are going to make boss rush here, but the question is, are we healthy enough to do it? We unfortunately haven't seen a single pill since we took a uh, bad pill. Bad pills, whatever it's called. No black hearts there. Yeah, so unfortunately, a lot more destitute in terms of HP than I thought we would be. Not ideal for boss rush, I'll admit. We do have fear and creep from Aquarius here, which is rather nice. Ocular Rift is doing a good job too. Just a little scary as well. Just a little scary. We're fearing all those enemies has actually helped us there. Come on, Hursts. Why, why you gotta be Hursts? Can't you just be Black Hearts or like a card that gives us Soul Hearts instead? Would that really be so hard? Would that irk you so much? Heal boy, followed by Herming boy, followed by Maggot. Yeah, I'm, I'm unsure if we'll do boss rush here. Oh, I was just about to say I'm unsure if we'll do boss rush. By the looks of it, we're not even going to make it. I thought we would, but we're actually about to miss it. So,
I'll just take a pass on it, I think, because I don't think I can make it. I Honestly, I might even die on uh, on the womb with the amount of HP we currently have. I was really hoping to keep that, at, um, that other heart. That was kind of my home run. That was my way out. Calm down, boys. Okay, I mean, we do have a revive, but I'd rather not use it, because then we don't unlock Bethany, so... That would kind of be a shame. Okay, nice. We got a... We got Latchkey, which does give us a soul heart as well. Lovely. Nothing there that I want. Keep on going down. Okay, we've at least got three hits until death. That's not too bad. Oh god, the green on this floor looks really weird. Hey look, it's the uh, enemy of which our item is based on. Or similarly. Which is going to make things hella confusing. Oh really? You dived right into me like that? Could you just maybe not? And that would be fantastic. Oh god. I walked into the creep from that dude. I am dead. I think I'm going to die here. This is a very hard room for this item. I'm just unable to hit these bloody bastards. I think this is Sayonara, pa Sayonara pals. I'd very much like a red heart, please. A red heart Sivu player. If I could stop going the wrong way as well, that would be fantastic. Look, I think this creep is going to end up killing me. I've got to get close to this guy, and I cannot remember at all what he does. Please stop. Can I blow them up? I don't think I can, can I? Fucking, now, now fear is annoying me, but it's not getting me killed. It's just being inconvenient. Right, the creep is still going, so don't be too hasty here. Oh, fear and adrenaline fills my soul. Don't fart shit out on me, please. This is a room that we could die in super easily. There's so much going on in here. And these enemies especially are really rough. I needed to open that up. Look down. It gave us a damage up. I was hoping for a black heart. Fuck's sake. I was at seven luck as well. I think I was wrong. I think this is where I die. Hmm? Not yet. <gasps> it's a soul heart. Oh my lord. He's done it. He's survived. The green womb cannot kill me. This room, however, might be able to. The piss kidneys are uh, in good form here. Come on, give us a red heart as well. Make us whole again. Make us whole again. Oh, fuck me. One more of them left. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Where's the red hearts at, game? Where's the red hearts at? Oh, fuck. It's very, very hard to directly hit these eyeballs. Come on, red hearts, please. Ooh, hello. Very nice. And... Uh... Bombs explode instantly, minus 50% bomb damage. Um, press Ctrl and E to place a bomb normally. Um, the player 
is immune from their own bombs, place bombs, destroy all enemy projectiles, and knock back enemies within a radius. That's pretty decent. Take it. So, I can't be hurt by my own bombs. That's good to know. And I basically don't really do damage with bombs anymore. I just use them as blanks. Oh! That could be so good. And it's a bit of damage as well. We're clawing back victory here. We're clawing it back. I just can't believe none of these are dropping red hearts. So sad. Fear is honestly saving me in some of these situations. All those enemies came right up close to me and Fear just knocked them all away. And again. Thank you, Fear. How have we gone all the wrong ways so far? This game, the womb, it's a bully. The womb is treacherous. Okay, we have made it here. Just please don't be a terrible boss. Please don't be a boss that I cannot even fathom or handle. It is bloat, unfortunately. Oh, what the hell, bloat. Come on now. It's piss bloat. He's tainting the, the screen. Cracked in for me. Thank you. Honestly, big thanks. It's just too much creep, game. I can't even get close to the boy. Oh my god. Cracked Infamy saved me a nice amount there. I'm very happy about that. Consolation prize. I'm going to reroll that, and I'm very glad that I did. Right. Oh my god. Okay. One more floor to get through. This has really been quite the ordeal. Oh, wait. We're all yellow now. One second. I need to go and, uh, go and do something. Um, da -da 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 -da. Steam. Da -da 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 -da. Come here, James. I need to go to your mod and tell you that you broke something. <laughs> I'm just going to comment on his mod and say that it's broken. Mod breaks when you kill a boss that tints the screen. It stays tinted that color for the whole rest of the run. Boom. Being a productive member of the modding community. Telling people when their shit's broken. Okay, I would like more soul hearts, please. So let's see if we can do that. I know we have smaller tier size now, so that's not the best, but higher fire rate is probably better overall. What was in our arcade? I, I went in, but I never really actually looked at what was in here. Not much that's of use to us. The healing here is, is rather nice, I will say. Charm of the Vampire. I know that we don't have a, a lot of red health right now, but that, I don't know how I wasn't hit there, but I'll accept it. All I'm accepting and all I want is HP. My spiky block dude didn't do much there. Yeah, I don't even know what color to tint the screen now. Oh, bugger. Walked right into that one. His eye kind of moved in a very strange way. It confused me. I want as many bombs as possible, because if they work like blanks and on Mum's Heart, the Mum's Heart fight, I can have a much better time. You are confusing me, you small fry. These red fuckers, I hate these red fuckers. They're, they seem to just be everywhere, and they're such massive pains in the asses to fight. They really are. 
Bad trip. Spawns a black heart. That's not really any use to us. I suppose we could trade our soul heart for a black heart. But, yeah, not the best. I was just about to say, please tell me I'm going the right way. But yeah, the womb is way too full of these enemies. They're just everywhere. Here we go. We went the right way. Okay, right. Use bombs when we need them. That was a perfect opportunity to use a bomb there, and I just didn't. Okay. Oh. Now, I, I I feel like I have to give this a go, don't I? Like, I'm definitely not going to live here. Oh, wait. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Uh, Bethany unlock. Isaac, Bethany. I just need to check if you have to win the run or just beat Mum's heart. Defeat Mum's heart, it lives on hard mode Lazarus without dying. So, in theory... That should have worked. If it hasn't, then fool on me, I guess. Yeah, I unlocked a nice one. These little laser fellas are a pain. The, the yellowness on this floor really doesn't mesh well, does it? Okay, this guy does not get hurt through his shielding. Oh, assassin. Also, these guys that are way cooler now. Rather than just being laser dickheads. Oh, God. Those shots were hurting and it was not good for me. Oh, we found the boss already. There's a small, small, small chance we do this. I'm saying that because we... It's not all about bullets with this guy. It's all about contact damage and stuff, so we'll see. There's a very small chance we get this done. Also, one of these invisible turkeys is still there. I'm having a really hard time hitting this guy. And I literally fucking zoomed him into myself with Ocular Rift. Thank you. Okay. Oh! The fuck was that game? The fuck was that? It seems like he shouldn't be able to be moved, and he can be. Just creeping me out. Okay. This is unlikely to succeed here, but we'll give it a go. We did it! Wow, okay. Was not expecting a victory there, but I'm glad that I tried it. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was pretty good. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.